Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing two cameras. They look the same, ish. <laughs> Amazon, eBay. This one was brand new, this one was second hand. Okay. Both got similar functions. I'll be going through each one, give you a side, side by side comparison. They both look the business, but which one's the best? The brand new, the second hand. You know which one I go for? You decide. seen the details of it uh, just before. Uh, comes with a lovely, lovely box. It's brand new. Um, I've just noticed it's only 720p which could explain a few things. It's only got a maximum times 16 zoom. It's got your wavy hand function. It's a nice box. I've used this only a handful of times. manual. Alright, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I can figure that out from that. Anybody know Chinese? <laughs> I'll get rid of that. Okay, a couple of leads. That's your charging lead. And you can connect it to your TV, should you wish, but you don't. So it comes all nicely wrapped and it does look like a, a cracking good camera. Nice colour, all your control functions there on the back. No lens cover, which <laughs> when you're doing metal detecting videos is a bit of a mush really because you need to protect that lens, you'll get grit, yeah, grit and dirt and all sorts of crap in there. Let me switch it on. Opens up like a standard video camera. There you go, switches on. And as you can see, it's very, very, very good. Can you see how it's recording? It's very jumpy. <clears throat> the colour's not so good. The zoom, well, it's, you see the picture quality. It's not very good at all. Not very good at all. It shows very green when you're trying to film. You still got your bright. I've, I've tried all of these functions to try and get it just to work a little bit better, but it doesn't. The back here, you have your charging points, and <laughs> you have a piece where you can put. I can't get it open now, but you have a piece in there that you, you, you can put a, uh, oh there you go, there's your charging point, and there you can put an external microphone if you want, but the problem is with this camera, as soon as you put an external microphone in it, it switches the camera off. <laughs> okay, so, what use is that, I don't actually know, <clears throat> it just switches the camera off. Okay, how many car goes in underneath? His battery memory card goes in there. Well, you can hear from it, it's, it's very cheaply made. It's, it's not very, it's not very well built at all. Tiniest little lens. You think this is a whole lens, but it's this tiny little thing here. <clears throat> okay, it's a good camera if you want to. Uh, I'm not sure. And I don't know why they put that there because what happens is you put your hand over there and you, you, you're kind of covering your, your mic and your speaker. <clears throat> so who designed, who, who thought well, we'll, we'll, we'll put the, the speaker and the mic there. That's a winner. <laughs> why would you put it there where you put your hand? Why would you do that? 
You know what? I can't. I can't figure that out. Anyway, it was very disappointing. It was only cheap though. You know, it, I didn't spend a lot of money on it. So, is it worth the money? Yes and no. Yes and no. Depends what you want to do. I suppose if you want a web camera or something, you could. Um, you could maybe use it for that, but. I don't know what those stickers mean because half of them don't work. Okay. Uh, and I just, I don't know. HD. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, like it says, it's only 720p. Um, I would give it a, a thumbs down. A thumbs down. It's not even going to take the knots. You're going to scratch this. You're going to certainly scratch that. And it ain't the best quality if you scratched it. I don't want to go into too much detail of this camera because it's not particularly worth going into detail about, really. Okay, so there's your first one. I'll just get rid of this one and then I'll show you the next. Hi guys, second camera. This is what I'm talking about. This was cheaper than this. Okay, it wasn't new. I had to win it on a bid. I had to sit up some late nights <clears throat> trying to get the one I wanted. Uh, this came up, the JVC Vario. But what a fantastic quality camera. Fantastic quality camera. Lens cover. see the size of that lens it's 1080p it's got a 35 uh, times zoom it's got an auto turn on if you look at the difference between that and the other how that films the zoom is fantastic absolutely fantastic and it keeps its quality keeps its quality I've used this on many a metal detecting session. It's not let me down. It's been on every single holiday I've been on as well. It's not let me down. It's a great vlogging camera, as you can see. You turn it round. See my iPhone filming. <laughs> it's just a brilliant, brilliant camera. You, you know, you've got... This is called some sort... I can't remember what this was called. This is a specialist thing anyway. Um, you know, it's just such a better camera. Turn the light on for less money. For less, this is what I'm trying to get for you. To, if you want to buy a camera for vlogging or for you doing YouTube and stuff like that, you know, and you don't want to spend mass. This this camera, I think, new was 156 pounds or something like that, and. Uh, you can see why such a brilliant you can take uh, photos with it as well you can on the other camera but it's the same sort of crappy quality it's just a brilliant camera massive battery at the back there lasts for ages easy charge port at the top there there you can put in a uh, external mic all your controls here are nice at the back you want to record yep front facing speaker <laughs> this is what you want not one on the handle you want a front facing speaker and it's just a basically brilliant camera it's a basically brilliant camera I'm going to keep this as a backup camera because now I've gone back to using the iPhone I don't really use it as such but I shall be because it can do so much more. It's got a direct load up to YouTube feature with one touch. Oh, well, that was it. Laser touch operation. One touch up. It's, it's all there. It's all sorted. Yeah. You've got Dolby. There's your video and camera function. As you on, you upload, you're on off switch. It's just all there, but it's got an auto on off, as you can see there. That switches it off now. 
So if you're out in the field and you've got your gloves on, drop your lens cover off. Bash. Hit your record. Stop your record. Flip it back. Lens cap back down in your pocket. What could be more simpler than that? 16 pounds. 16 pounds. It's, it's a bargain. So automatically he's got a thumbs up from me. 1080p. <clears throat> Just an awesome camera. I mean, I could sell this still and probably get 20 quid for it if, if I sold it again, but I don't want to because it's such a good camera. It's great for taking away with me. It's great at vlogging camera. Okay. Little port there for your uh, memory card. That disconnects your battery. So yeah, so you can actually buy separate batteries for these. You'll last all your filming in that one. So we don't know what you guys think. Which one? <laughs> Which one would you go for? Hmm? That's my choice. So on this occasion, eBay wins. But it was an eBay bid. It wasn't a buy it now, it was a bid. And I had to wait and wait and wait for the one that I wanted. And I got it in the end. £16. It even came with a carry case and a bag. And so much more equipment. And it's second hand and as you can see even second hand it's not it's, it's got no no knocks no marks it's a jbc yeah i think you can uh, get instruction manuals for them but if you go onto youtube and, and put jbc vario in there's loads of instructional videos on youtube if you if you want to get into depth on how to use the camera but that's my choice and i'm sticking with it <laughs> So I hope you like this review. I hope it helps anybody who's trying to get into doing the YouTube stuff, what cameras you need, what cameras you don't need. <clears throat> and these are just basic starter cameras. Both of them are basic starter cameras. You know, they're not the thousand pound cameras. You, you know, even if you're gonna buy this new, you'd be looking at 150 quid. So they're not the, 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 the brand new spanking cameras. So yeah, I wonder if we can do a side by side. I'll try and give you a side by side on the on the screens if I can just before we go. Take your lens cover off. And you can you can just see the difference. This one's all jumpy, green. This one's just smooth. Operates nice and smooth. Yeah. So two cameras. If I wanted one that I knew I was gonna smash about, I might invest in one of those. If I want one that'll take a knock or two, it's gonna give me good quality, I'd go for one of these. So keep your eyes open for eBay and keep an eye open for those bargains. And all I have to say is that uh, thanks for watching this review. Please uh, like and subscribe. At the bottom any comments in the bottom and answer me comments and all i have to say is thanks for watching